सो ही गाइज वट्स वेलकम बैक कैसे हो यार आप सब लोग आई होप सब बढ़िया होंगे तो आज की इस वीडियो में मैं आपको बताने वाला हूँ हारमिन यू एस रेडमी पैड पे कैसा लगता है सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव फ्लैश रेड हारमिन यू एस ऑन माई रेडमी पैड एंड इंस्टॉल्ड सम एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन ऑन इट ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी द स्पेसिफिकेशन विच आई विल जस्ट सिंपली फास्ट फॉरवर्ड दिस वीडियो ऑल द डिवाइस सिस्टम एंड सम सी पी यू एंड ऑल्सो लेट जस्ट फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेशन दिस हारमिन यू एस इज बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड ट्वेल्व so yeah that's kind of old but yeah you can run harmony os on this redmi pad so you can see all the information just to be make sure like uh, this tablet is redmi pad 6gb version so let's talk about the ui first right launcher so in the home screen you can see you get these type of fancy widgets which you can group together which is really cool feature i feel and uh, also you can just basically group together multiple widgets as you can see like this by just uh, uh, keeping widget at the top or just keeping the widget at the side of each other and they will group like a folder and you can always edit and to open the launcher settings you have to just like squeeze in and then you can see this is the launcher settings you can customize the layout and everything you can just see it uh, if you want to look at something very uh, deeply just pause the video and look at it also it got the floating window which is really nice and it got the sidebar so let me just show you the floating window once again and here you can see this is the sidebar which you get uh, you can launch the applications in the floating window from the sidebar also and uh, i'm not able to resize it right now but it might be a uh, little glitch but you can see i can open the floating window i can minimize it minimize it i can expand it and i can just go back home and also it got a something like a super hub in which we basically what you can do is you can just simply search for anything put anything in, in it and later on use it so like you can see i just put that wallpaper and that image so just just simply drag and drop and now if i open the notepad i can just simply drag uh, let me just, you can basically first of all open it and edit it if you really want to and then you can just simply drag and drop to copy paste that's it how simple it is the image thing uh, doesn't work super right i don't know why maybe i just don't know how to use it but yeah here are some settings which you can do you can see the uh, here you can see the guide how to use it that's how much i understand and also if you want to just delete it just simply drag and drop into the dustbin icon and it's gone also the one more thing which i really like is the folder management it's superb as you can see i can just simply resize the folder and it automatically changes the shape it's good it's just simply very nice i hope the miui also has this feature along with that you can see um, you also need this micro g application to use google services because otherwise google services are just not available on this harmonious and of course i click this picture from the camera yeah this is blurry because i zoomed it but over here you can see these are the some editing features which you get and uh, yeah that's how the gallery of this harmonious looks so most of the applications definitely work fine this is the calculator and most of the thing is you can see the control center and the screen recording thing and this music panel they all just look fantastic animations are at the top notch you can see like i can expand quick panel i can get super devices if i have any other hard videos i don't know it shows the black screen in the screen recording i guess uh, it's just some security features but yeah almost all the features in the control center also work over here you can see i can just simply edit it and uh, add new widgets and this is something ai life and asking for the account sign in of the harmony os uh, i don't want to and this is how notification panel looks like which is a lot better than miui seriously they actually use this tab tab layout and also the screen recording thing is just awesome and this is how the app world of this harmony os looks like you can see the app world is like yeah it feels like this thing was made for the tablet so yeah definitely it got some good features like in which you can just uh make use of some multiple widgets on your home screen you can just simply place them on your home screen as you want and you can also just drag and drop in a, in basically one widget to make it more and you can just simply long press and remove that's it and also the screen recording animations are just awesome and also you can get do some little bit more customization on the launcher home screen you can just sort the all applications by automatically by category color or just original layout these are some really quick options to sort your all applications which is appreciated actually and uh, yeah these are the wallpaper but here i see the bug it doesn't run in the landscape mode and yeah 
that's how almost how this harmonious looks like also everything almost works apart from the little bug in the brightness like sometimes brightness doesn't work and also you get this uh, navigation dock at the side which you can use to go back just like a copy of uh, apple and also android applications runs fine on it so yeah that was all about the ui stuff so now let's move on to the next part and let's talk about some applications you can see this is the how harmony clock OS clock looks this is how the calendar application look of the harmony os and these all are just apk which can run on any android as i have already shown you this is based on android 12. these are some contact ways which you automatically got synced from a google account which i signed in and this is the stock browser uh it's just so much on chinese and i don't understand chinese so yeah that's it but yeah it does something <laughs> and this is the file manager file manager is actually good like yeah it uh, has some advertisement uh, advertisement but it's actually good like it is not like file manager which lacks features it has almost all features you will not need any external file manager if if you have this this is the themes applications which is again uh, is very good this is a recorder and this is the huawei app gallery which is almost like a copy of the play store it got all the applications and this is the case which i am using a root application to get of course to get some features and also let me want tell you this is not a flacom room which i flashed it is a basically a gsi so yeah uh which it is a gsi running on the dsu so yeah you can also try it link will be in description and also i will be explaining how to install it on your device in the la end of the video so let's move on to the next part so coming on the settings application now let me just show you all settings application this is how the wi-fi settings looks this is how bluetooth and this is about mobile network which of course definitely doesn't work but yeah it's nice to have this is a super device if you have a, another Har harmonious device it might work i don't have so i didn't test it this is about more connection and this is about home screen in which you get some of the multiple basically customization options you can apply custom themes and uh, you can just basically access your themes application you can apply custom phones custom icon and everything along with the wallpaper and it really changes the ui of the tablet which i really feel uh, like it's it's a good they thought about this in MIUI you don't get so much options you can even change the lock screen as you can see over here there are the many themes with the with the custom lock screen which is definitely a very good option to have uh let's go on to the next option over here you can see the, there are so many wallpaper options available also and wallpapers are quite nice but yeah you will get used to it if you really keep using it you can just get more options in the home screen and customization you can just look them over here and uh, of course you can just select how you would you like to have your app drawer so moving on next thing display and brightness of course the brightness is a little bit buggy on this device um, basically on this dsi right now but uh, other than that everything works fine and you can see the dark mode i completely forgot to show you dark mode it looks fantastic as you can see the animation as i click on the dark mode it, everything changes in front of you unlike uh, android default android in which you basically just tap on it and it will just everything changes in uh into dark black by in just one second right your device is like shut down and then change it to black and like that it shows the animation like apple so it's complete copy of ios and of course in the notification and status bar you get some options in the biometrics of course fingerprint is not going to work because of the tablet limitations and app and services yeah there are so many bloatware applications from the huawei so yeah you can expect that and there are so many options default apps restore applications these are the some applications which i removed so yeah you can install it this is the app assistant and uh, so many features which still need to be explored but i guess that's enough uh yeah there are some battery options which you can definitely explore like a storage option internal storage and cloud storage you can send in the huawei account to get the cloud storage which will help and then the privacy center just like i am ui kind of similar to it so yeah also digital uh, balance like a digital well-being it is also nice and animations are really great and wallet and pay accessibility features multi-window you can see like floating window thing it they definitely work then super hub and then follow cam they are the some features which work partially work not uh, completely but partially and then there are some mouse and keyboard features which you can see over here right 
they are definitely work well like uh, if we if this room would be stable and have a Google support I would switch to it basically flash this room on my device but unfortunately it doesn't support Google Google services by default and have so many bugs right now so guys talking about how to flash this GSI or basically use it on your device in short that device uh, that GSI is not completely usable as a daily driver so you can uh, yeah I will suggest not to flash it on your device but instead what you can do is you can try it in the DSU application so how to do that let me just show you in this uh, really quick first of all what you have to do is you have to go in your edge browser and search for DSU application and make sure your bootloader is unlocked and you have a root access uh, root access is uh, not a compulsion but bootloader unlock is a compulsion so your bootloader must be unlocked now after that you have to search for dsu apk and after going for that just simply click on the top link uh, click on stay in microsoft edge or whatever you are using chrome and anything so simply click on download apk and simply download this apk okay so after the apk is download successfully just simply install this application and in the description you will find link to this post also I will uh, co uh, copy this link and uh, provide this in description just simply, cop just simply click on this link and after opening this link you will see a downloading folder so I cannot open this link, for, uh, uh, link currently because of this telegram browser you have to open it uh, uh, you have to open it in your any other browser so definitely after opening it you are just have to download this uh, basically zip file and after that you will be able to basically com experience complete harmony os on your readme pad and that's it that's how simple it is uh, some people also manage to boot it on the mi pad also so over here you can see he this person just tried this uh, gsi on mi pad also and he was also able to successfully boot it on mi pad so if you have any other device definitely you can try it booting on this but uh, yeah that's it how you get harmony os on your redmi pad and can flash it successfully and also let me just show you how to set up dso application so first of all after you install the app dso application just open your KSO manager or anything which you use right if you have a magic just open it and grant it the super user permission so let me just search for the dso and simply select it and click on super user permission and grant it after that you have just have to open your dso application if you are uh, using matches just open dso application and pop-up will open just simply select grant after that it will ask to set up the storage just simply select any storage like i select MIUI folder use this folder allow and that's it after this it shows your bootloader should be unlocked just simply click on proceed and after that you have this page uh, just simply click on the select file and select that gsi file which you just downloaded from the link given in description right after that selecting that you can uh, select this user data site uh, as you can see, saw i have uh, i just granted 36 gb basically that's the maximum i i could basically give 36 gb so i just grant 36 gb to harmony os and that that's and that was what my storage in gsi so this is a storage thing in your gsi so just granted the storage permission which you really want i would suggest if you just want to find just simply give six or four and if you want to use it basically a little bit then just i will say just give 16 because that's uh, more than enough after that just simply select this drive and click on install and your installation should be started and i will uh, suggest you always click on the settings icon at the top right corner and make sure you operation mode is root sometimes even after granting the root permission operation mode is adb adb so in the end you have to just redo all the steps and if you see the adb over here even after having root what you have to do is you have to just simply go back click on the app info and just clear data once and that's it your issue will be fixed